So this is the Hayward Aquanaut 400 suction cleaner. Uh, this is the rebranded pool cleaner that uh, Hayward bought uh, from the previous manufacturer. Uh, so this is a suction style pool cleaner that we just got to replace our creepy crawly. And this is actually quite a large box. And that's because if you open up the box here, you get a whole bunch of uh, pool tubing. And this comes in a gray. Here is the actual pool cleaner itself. This is the four wheel drive model. Comes with a regulator valve to for suction if you want to use that. Uh, also a safety cap if your pool doesn't really have that. And that's a fitting for that. And then also these little flow adapters. Uh, small, the medium is installed. It's recommended that you use the large just for more suction. And that's installed just by turning this upside down here and pushing these two tabs in. As you push these tabs in, you're able to lift out this, this uh, bracket here in the middle. And you'll notice that this says medium there. So we're just gonna pre-fit this with large. And large is just imprinted on one of these tabs here. This should snap in like so. And we are actually good to go to hook this up outside into the pool. Now, the cool thing about this is that it's a gear-based system so that this should change course every so often. Now you'll see in the next segment of our video how our creepy crawly, which has done a good job for the past year cleaning the pool, tends to get stuck on the stairs. So I scoured the internet trying to find an option where it was not going to get stuck in the stairs because we hate having to go out there and move it around. We tried using a rotating gear that leaked a lot of air. That just didn't work either. So finally we gave up with the creepy crawly and after watching some reviews and also noticing a current rebate on this for a hundred bucks off, we decided, hey, uh, with all our time, money and effort invested into trying to clean the pool or keeping the cool pool clean, uh, we might as well use a pool cleaner that might actually work. So this just came in, we're gonna install it and see how this compares to our creepy crawly. This is the unboxing, we'll put it in. I'll give you a demonstration of the creepy crawly as it is and compare that with how the um, aqua knot uh, does, which is what we're looking at here. Well, this is the uh, Pentair Creepy Crawly, and for the most part, the Creepy Crawly works, but it gets hung up. And when it gets hung up, it's always hung up in the same spot right here next to our stairs, and it just sits there. We've tried adjusting the valves, the uh, flow, everything. Uh, even got a rotating uh, gear that we added to the line, the pool cleaner line here, but it doesn't do its job. Um, so oftentimes we have to reach into the pool, grab this to readjust the flow and direction of said creepy crawler before it gets back into sucking as it should. So you'll notice now that we've cleared it from that path that this does make its way slowly around the pool and the thought here is that this um, will move across the pool all right that's actually just turned off because our, our settings uh, hourly we're at uh, let's see one o'clock now so settings are changing right now that's what's going on there but uh, we had enough frustration that this creepy crawly was just getting hung up, hung up on the stairs. Uh, here, it's cycling back on again. There you go. That we decided it was probably time for us to switch cleaners. So you can see how as our creepy crawly gets started back up again, if it's free from the stairs, it's gonna make its way across the pool appropriately. So right now, pump just started on again. And if anything, sometimes if the suction's too high, the creepy crawly has a hard time moving. But I can see it's actually moving. And if you watch, it will slowly move its way across the pool and do its job, so it works. 
But again, when it gets hung up, then you have to manually adjust it. And if it gets hung up early in the morning, well then, for the rest of the day, it's gonna be sitting in the same spot and not cleaning the rest of the pool. The most part, it's pretty clean. So again, there's Creepy Crawly for you. So we needed something that will change directions or basically rotate. And after doing some research, uh, looking at different models, came across a uh, cleaner, the pool cleaner, uh, which was since bought out by Hayward and rebranded the Aquanaut. And having a tile pool, the Aquanaut uh, four wheel was probably a better option for us. So we'll go ahead and show how the Aquanaut compares to the Creepy Crawly, both of which we were able to find on Amazon, but you can also find through your pool distributors as well. So we'll get the Aquanaut set up to demonstrate how that compares to our current suction pool cleaner, the Creepy Crawly, which is as you see here. So we've gone ahead and installed the uh, pool cleaner, uh, the Aquanaut 400, and immediately you can, uh, two things that I notice, one, um, this is not as noisy as the, the Creepy Crawly. The Creepy Crawly required it to oscillate and have vibrations and uh, this guy operates pretty silently and immediately uh, has gone into the deep end, which the Creepy Crawly never loved before. Now, while true, the tires kind of slip on the tile here. So this is not going to climb up the walls very well. Um, that's something that we can upgrade the tires to, I guess, tape tires, or there's a high traction tire system that has less treads. Um, but you'll notice that, hey, even if this gets stuck at a wall, the cool thing is that the gear system here is going to have this change its direction. There you go. It changes and pivots its direction, and it will find a new direction somewhere in the pool to go traverse. So this thing is sucking and cleaning on its own a lot better than Creepy Crawly ever did, stuck on the stairs half the day. So I'd rather have this not climb up the side of my pools, but get through the entire pool bottom, which it's clearly doing here, as you can see it traveling by itself, just with the pool suction here. Uh, I have provided it some extra, extra uh, piping here, just to allow it to uh, be able to reach the walls of the pool. And we can see here that that's doubling up a little bit here, but that it's venturing all the way over here slowly as it's cleaning the bottom. And let's see if it is going to, it's gonna rotate and turn on its own now in its gear system to find a different direction. <laughs> I don't know what it does, but just like a 270 there going to run into the edge of the wall over here and it looks like it's at the length of its uh its pipe so i might actually even add another one just to give this a little bit more slack because what i'm trying to do right now is clean up the wall or the side wall of the pool here uh it doesn't have probably enough pipe or traction to climb up the wall here um, but it won't get stuck here because, again, the gears are going to have it change directions in a couple of seconds here. It's kind of sliding around the edge. It's sliding around the edge, and now the uh, pipe is turning. The gears are turning, and it's headed in another direction. So this is a lot more quiet than the other uh, Creepy Crawly. And this is traversing to corners of the pool that the Creepy Crawly never made, made, uh, made it to before. 
I think this would benefit from having extra pipe so it can get to all the corners here. And so far, this is a great addition for replacement to our old creepy crawly, which did not seem to be able to make it around the pool as uh, the Aquanaut already is demonstrating. And we added the inline leaf canister just to uh, pick up the chunky bits. Here it is doing another rotation on its own. And I think this is checking it out. It's headed back across the pool again. As you can see that this uh, oh, does make... Faster than the other one. <laughs> it moves much faster than the other one, right? Yeah. And hopefully does a better job cleaning. Okay, well, hopefully you enjoyed uh, our installation of the Hayward 400. Uh, Aquanaut 200 and 400, this is the 400 four-wheel uh, series. Uh, you can get it on Amazon right now. There is a rebate through the end of uh, June. Uh, Hayward does periodically put a rebate on these. Um, it's expensive, but for the price you're going to invest in keeping your pool clean, you might as well have something that works. So um, we'll provide an update later to make sure that this is working well. We've been watching the creepy, well, this is not the creepy crawly, the Aquanaut do what the creepy crawly was supposed to do. And I've uh, been watching it get uh, hung up at the walls, travel back to where creepy crawly used to get stuck. And this is it hitting a wall, turning itself around and finding a new path. Like we showed you earlier, the creepy crawly got stuck in that corner there and the Aquanaut is approaching that corner. So let's see what happens when the Aquanaut gets stuck in this area here. So it looks like we have some extra pipe here that's actually blocking it. But as uh, this, I'm not gonna go intervene on this yet. It should, after a couple rotations of its gears here, just find an alternative path. Let's see if it does. trying to go forward it's trying I can see the wheels turning we're not gonna let it go forward though Lucas is gonna go check it out yep look it's turning and it's gonna trek somewhere else There it goes. Dad, why is it stuck on the stairs? It shouldn't. Actually, I don't think this one will climb up the stairs. But this one won't get stuck permanently anywhere because what it's doing is it turns by itself after a little bit. So that's why it said, hey, I got stuck. But I'm going to go somewhere else. So it's crawling away. And it is picking up dirt because I can see stuff off the ground, off the bottom of the pool. How come I never got this stuff? going in the leaf catcher. It hasn't gone there yet, but if it keeps on traveling, look, it's coming up on some, some specks of stuff at the bottom there. Let's see if it uh, I think that thing at the bottom was gets a, a leaf or something. I got it. Did it get it? Yeah, it disappeared. See, look at that. And it's doing a little 360 here. It's doing a little dance, victory dance. It's like, reminds me of a little Roomba. your Fortnite. So you just saw there it just picked up two pieces of dirt at the bottom there. So I'm very impressed. On the top of the surface, All right. Again, this is the Aquanaut 400 pool cleaner. Good investment already. It'll turn around. Better than that creepy crawly. So save your $280 from buying our creepy crawly, which is now lying in wake of a year of bad cleaning and uh, the Aquanaut 400 is our new replacement. All right, thanks for watching again. That's our post-installation update that we'll include in the same video here. Why can't I not get this stuff? Yeah, it doesn't live up there. Subscribe.